Hey, hey Jill fans! I'm Chris. And I'm Ronnie from the Jill Writers Archive. We're here today with another episode of our Archive Showcase with a new unexpected treasure. Yes! Now, you may have seen that there's one big difference right now with Chris and maybe a small difference with me right now. He's not wearing his Jewel Rider shirt. Yes, I forgot it. <laughs> it's all good. But we actually have a brand new item. So you may have seen that we were always wearing our Jewel Rider shirts and of course those are still available on Redbubble so yeah. if you still want to purchase one. But you're wearing Swift Wins. Yes, well we were just at PowerCon so yeah. it felt appropriate. It is, it's very appropriate. Yeah. But we saw so much She-Ra and all that mm -hmm. fun stuff that we're actually going to talk about Jewel Riders. I know. And the fun thing is, this is a brand new item. Yeah, this was an item new to us. Mm -hmm. Zero knowledge. Right. So it's going to be something brand new and something fun. It's an unboxing for Chris as I, well. I have not seen this in the flesh. I saw the eBay listing and that is all. Mm -hmm. So so we're going to be opening it and he's going to, you're going to see his reaction. I'm so excited. Ooh. So I haven't had a brand new reaction to a brand new piece of Jewel Riders thing. Since 96? Uh, well, <laughs> let's say 2014. Oh, okay, okay. So what we're about to show you is, I don't know the full name, but it's the Giant Coloring Book. Yay. It's so exciting. Did you even know that they had a coloring book? I. I, I mean, one, I had no idea that they no. made this, but I feel, like, I feel like this would have been found in places like uh, Michael's Crafts or something like that, yeah. or Joanne's. I mean, I don't even know, based on the size of the box that I'm looking at right now, mm -hmm. that a normal store would have had anywhere to put this. Right, right. But like everything else in Jewel Riders, it yes. just, <laughs> you know, it just didn't go. No, it went nowhere. Okay, yeah. so here we go. It is... The <laughs> giant story oh coloring book. Oh my god. This is the size of the book. You're seeing the size. Like This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's so large. Oh, it's just a blank it is cardboard just a blank, bag. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, I feel like I'm doing a school presentation. <laughs> and like, here's my poster exactly. board. Exactly. On today's book report. <laughs> We're going to be studying Jewel Riders. My god. Is it this... I mean, you haven't opened the poster, but I was like, it's almost the size of yeah, like a poster. It is the size of a poster. You know? All right, so it's the Giant Story Coloring Book. Now, one thing to know, it is the style, the, the VHS cover. So yeah. this is the Song of the Rainbow VHS cover. Um, but the thing is, is that the border, so it might have also been from the style guide, but it's yeah. kind of pixelated. Like, you can see that it definitely, they blew up the image well, yeah, the, beyond... I don't, I, I don't think those borders were ever made to be viewed this tall. This they were meant to be, like, this big yeah. in reality. So it's a little bit blurred, but the logo is crisp oh, yeah, and the clean. Logo is nice and clean. So that's really clean. So again, it's like that was meant to be this size. This was meant to be, like, the size of a VHS cover. Yes. So, yes. Although, one thing also to note, Guinevere is missing her hair. Oh, she is! Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so weird. They deleted her hair because it's usually out to there. Oh, so weird. So somebody had to have, like, fixed the Crystal Palace image. I don't know what to, to do. To make up for that? Either that or this is just a different print of this because, again, it's on the background. I don't know. Yeah. Someone did something. But anyway, that's the cover. Oh. Shall we move on? Yes. Are you excited? Do we have enough room in this frame <laughs> to move on? <laughs> God, I can't even do this. Oh my gosh. So we got the cover page. Um, someone has colored the cover page, um, but not to fret, there's a new image of it inside and it's uncolored. Okay. So this is one of the things, and then there's also, unfortunately, there's a rip right here, but that's not so bad. So, so these illustrations, it looks like, were by a gentleman named Vince Arcon. Argondesi. A Italian, yes, I'm assuming. Argondesi. Yeah. And the text was written by Valerie Cavanaugh. That's actually kind of interesting to finally have, actually have like attributions to, in a coloring book. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it was so large. I don't know. But um, the book is recyclable. Oh, Not that you would ever want to recycle it. Please don't recycle yeah. this if you have an uncolored copy. So, um, so you could put your book belongs to and it's published by... Wicklow Limited in St. Davis, Pennsylvania. Cover 1995. Book number 41214. Made in the USA. Wow. <laughs> I know, there's a sadly, there's a rip in Careful. this. So we got a beautiful map 
Oh man, mm -hmm. this is so cool. I have not seen this map ever before. And it's so large. You got the burning desert, you got the crystal cliffs, the misty moors. It's basically, it's the... It's funny it's, though, because it's like... They smushed the map mm -hmm. into a much smaller space. Whereas when the card version, it's like flipped horizontal. Yeah. yeah, but this one's vertical. This is so cool. I love maps. Yes. So that is a real treat. I will definitely be looking at that more closely later. And then I can't even see what is no, this. <laughs> what is this? This is... Oh, it's the girls. The girls. And they're flying. Oh, okay. So let me read it. It's... This is the magical land of Avalon, and then you have the girls, and it says to help the girls fight Lady Kale and the Dark Stone, they have their own enchanted jewels, which give them and their animals special powers. So you got them kind of flying there. Is this supposed to be like an abstract Crystal Palace background? No, you got an actual Crystal Palace background. Okay. But yeah, it's just them flying and holding up their jewels. They never fly. <laughs> well, they do in the Wild Magic. Um, okay. But this is an illustration I've never seen. No mm -hmm. style guide. Right. Reference image. This is a new image as well. This is the girls. Mm -hmm. So you got the girls there. These are the jewel riders. They protect Avalon and all the major jewels in the kingdom from evil. So you got them mm -hmm. there. And then we got... Who we got? We got, our, we got um, no, we no, got Jewel Adventure, Adventure Guinevere with her jacket. And it's interesting to note that she has the star on the belt, like before she gets the sunstone. So, but nothing on the sleeves. What is the text saying? The text says... Well. <laughs> <laughs> Guinevere is the leader of the Jewel Riders and the Princess of Avalon. Okay. Then we got Gwen and Sunstar. Um, again, another image. It's kind of similar to what the Hallmark images are mm -hmm. on the wrapping paper. Um, it says, her best friend and the animal she has chosen to bond with is a unicorn named Sunstar. They share a magical jewel called the Sunstone. Found it over here. It's interesting. These faces are so different mm -hmm. from anything I've ever seen. Well, before. it's very Hallmark-like. Like, like yes. it looks like the Hallmark stickers. All right. This is an image of Fallon, which again also looks like the Hallmark sticker a bit. Uh, Fallon is the tomboy of the group. With her best friend Moondance, they have proved themselves worthy of riding with the boys in the Wolf Pack. Mm. Next page. Well, actually, you do get the Duh. cat. I don't know if it's not the wolf pack no. yet. There's, Careful. There's Tamara it's in Tamara the wolf Looking snow, snow white. white. <laughs> she looks like Snow White here. She's all like, you just hear her go, ah, ah, ah. I can't even do it anymore. That is amazing. Tamara has been given the magical heart stone, which enables her to understand any animal as well as talk to them. So let's not draw. Oh, there's her friends. No, I was like, let's not draw the baby animals. Let's draw this little deer looking yeah. thing. Look how huge Cleo is in that image, though. She's large. Oh. All right, so this next page says she can always be seen with her baby animals, Cleo, Spike, and Sugar. They adore Tamara and are never very far from her side. Mm. Tamara's legs are colored. Yes. This child, whoever owned this, liked Fallon because the Fallon pages are colored. Uh -huh. He did not like Guinevere because none of the Guinevere <laughs> images are colored. Aren't you the same size as Merlin? <laughs> <laughs> Got Archie over here. And how can we forget Archie? Archie is in charge of teaching uh -huh. the girls in Merlin's absence. And then Merlin, of course, a new image I've never seen. If it weren't for Merlin, there wouldn't be an Avalon. He discovered this wondrous land and gave it life. Mm, these pages are so like, they're so thin. It's like I don't, definitely don't want to rip them. And they're again, 25 years old, 26 years old. <laughs> or whenever oh this my comes out. <laughs> gosh, I love <laughs> well, this. Well, this is the, uh, like the hair accessories, like the goody hair accessories. No, isn't that the one that's on like the background of a calendar? They do it, but they also have it, I think, in the style guide? Yeah, they do. Yeah. So this is reminiscent of that, but it's not the same image. It's not blonde-haired Drake, like in the yes. goody stuff. Drake is the handsome leader of the pack, the knight protectors of the Crystal Palace, and Gwen has quite a crush on him. Oh. He's very handsome in there. Yes, he's got a real key man face mm -hmm. in this. That's hilarious. I think that was purposely done. Yes. 
Oh, sorry. And the next page is Drake has bonded with Thunder, the biggest and strongest of the pack. There isn't anything he wouldn't do for Drake. Bite someone, Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, again, is this an image that we've seen before? Mm -mm, that's Brand that's new. totally new. Okay. Oh, there's a cool image of all the pack. Yeah. yeah. With the Crystal Palace in the background. And that the is, Crystal Palace. That is a gorgeous image of the Crystal Palace. Like, mm -hmm. whoever drew this for the coloring book did amazing well, job. we know who drew it. Yes. <laughs> we just don't remember their yes. name right now. Um, when the jewel riders and the pack are together and watching over Avalon, everyone feels much safer. Yay. Until. Uh, until. The evil Lady Kale. I'm oh. evil Lady Kale, and I've captured Sunstar. <laughs> and the dark stone around. Then everyone knows there will be trouble. Uh, same image of Kale we've seen many times in the style guide and mm -hmm. other images. For once they used an image. I know, well I mean it's a great image, right? But I kind of wish, I mean, there of is, of course there I is, wish. there's another image that we haven't really seen of her, but there's wow. also, there's also Castle Thornwood. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. There's things like you never see otherwise. You just love it because it's so mech-like, I, you well, know? I love it because it's new imagery, right? Mm -hmm. Something not from the style guide, not from... Well, that's like how when I opened this and I was thumbing through it, I was like, oh my gosh, like I've never seen this before. It's so awesome. All right. Lady Kale lives in the dark and dreary Castle Thornwoods, where the evil, wild magic flows free. Ooh. I know. It sounds like it should be an <laughs> audiobook, but it can be. You can listen to that audiobook oh on gosh. our channel. Lady Kale and her band of misfits are trying to find the special magical jewels called the Crown Jewels so that they can rule Avalon. It's funny that they say misfits because she was used to have Beelhag. She used to have like four or five different extra animals in right. previous versions. The bat, so, the snake, the and bat, everything. the snake, the little goblin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is a unique image too. Yeah. And you got a giant. Got a giant grim. grim. And then you have another style guide image. Oh, yes, yeah, we recognize is Rufus and Twig. Mm -hmm. Twig and Rufus and Lady Kills. T no, Twig and Rufus are Lady Kills, two dweezels. They can sniff out wild magic to help the witchy one find the crown jewels. And then this beautiful image of the circle of friendship. That is fantastic because I don't know that there's any. Are there any other images of the circle with the castle in the background like this? I mean, yes and no. Not images that look like this is that yeah. abstract painting in the right. style guide, right. but that's about it. All right. The girls and their chosen animals receive the enchanted jewels in a special ceremony in the friendship ring. Isn't that fun? That is such a cool image. You could just imagine seeing Merlin right this, here. I wonder if this is the same Crystal Palace that we saw previously just shrunk oh, or blown up. Maybe. I'll have to look at the other yeah. one. And then having blonde hair Tamara sitting over exactly. here. Exactly. That I so tediously edited. Okay, got another unique image here. Oh. Got Fallon and Moondance creating this very large moonstone. <laughs> the jewel separates into two, with the animal receiving one half and the teenager receiving the other half. This jewel bonds the animal and human for life, making them jewel riders. Aww. Everything's on model. Like, yes. I love it. Everything is on model. It's so yeah. pretty. And then this is the Crystal Palace is where the magic jewels are kept safe until they are given to the teenagers chosen to become jewel riders. Got I like they have the little animal topiaries. It's even, the crystal like. animals in front. But this, this Crystal Palace looks different than the other ones. Yeah. I think these are style guide images, or at least they're character model sheet images that right. we have. There's um, Jared and Anya. Mm -hmm. um, the Crystal Palace is also where Guinevere's parents, the good Queen Anya and the good King Jared, live. They're like on a flying jewel Little platform. platform. Right. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Um, let's see. When the jewel writers want to get from one place in the kingdom to another, they use the travel trees. This is like. I think pretty much based on most of the images of the travel trees mm -hmm. we've seen. It looks like an image from Jewel Quest with yeah. those flowers and everything. Last page! Aww. Last <laughs> Randomly from like 
from like Full Circle or Revenge of the Dark Zone when they're floating in space. Wow. But you have to be very careful when writing the wild magic because you might not end up where you asked to go and you got them writing this right. comet. Of Jewel of Riders in, in space. space. <laughs> Coming 2195. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is... Are they on a comet? Yes, they're on a comet. They're flying past, like, Jupiter or Saturn. Wow. So is this the sequel? <laughs> coming? Right? Like I said, they're 2195? Yeah. Right. That is so What do you think cool. of it? You that is so it? cool. Yeah, I know it's really fancy. I, you got this I'm still in thing. awe of how large It's so this thing large, is. it's too big. Like it really is. It's I mean so like large. I'm like, this could be a raft for a small <laughs> child. Like Well, imagine as a child, like having this giant thing and then like coloring it. Yeah. No wonder only certain pages were colored, which I guess I'm glad of. I mean like I look at one page, I'm like, if you colored everything on that page. You would go through half your box of crayons. <laughs> like, so there you go. That's the Joyer's coloring book. So, what's your thoughts on it? I mean, I think that they're only a positive thoughts. I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, no, it's really, really cool because, well, number one, of course, it's cool to us because it's new, mm -hmm. right? But it's cool because. I don't know that many things that have a super large coloring book like that. I mean, I may have seen something like that, not Jewel Riders, but something similar, mm -hmm. but it wasn't something that was prominently or, you know, made. Again, it, it just makes me wonder, like, why did they choose this giant coloring book format? Why didn't you just have a normal size coloring book? When I saw the listing for the coloring book, yeah. I figured it was like the normal golden book yeah. coloring book and size. in the listing, it looked like that, mm -hmm. too. And I was like, okay, like, that's fine. Like, that's kind of like, that's what I collect. Like, I love the vintage, like, Disney coloring books yeah. and things like that. So that's what I was expecting. And then when this giant thing came, like, when they delivered the box, I'm like, what is this thing, you know? What did I order? Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, that is... That's amazing. Um, are you going to try and do any restoration work on the colored pages? We'll see. I mean, yeah. we've been able to I know, be photograph. Like, how can you, like, can you even scan them? No, like, like they're, they're way too big to be scanned. So I photographed them, and those are available on the website. Yeah. We'll see if the future holds any restoration of the images. Yeah. But, I mean, I would like to see some of those, you know, Playing without the coloring on sure, them. Sure, sure. And you know, it's funny because. I mean, I'm grateful not m more most of them. Most of them, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's only like maybe four sheets. But the thing that I am grateful for also, um, I mean, aside from just like the fact that they're not really colored in, is also just the condition. Like, yes, there is the one, mm -hmm. you know, rip in there, but generally, like, it's not, you know, yeah. it's not ripped in half. There's not for, a page missing somewhere. For, for something the size that this is, and a paper product mm -hmm. from 1995. Like, right. I'm amazed it's in as good of condition as it is. Mm -hmm. Like, I would have expected it to be like bent in half. Right. And, this is mm, sad. You know. But we'll see. Yeah, hopefully, I would love to see restorations if you ever have time. But <laughs> he's just giving me more work yes, to do. Exactly. More exactly. work. No, but. Yeah, I mean, it's. Until a, then, we have coloring sheets. You can find yes. them on the website. <laughs> Please color some and send them to exactly. us. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, and that's the thing, like I said, is that I do love coloring sheets. Mm -hmm. And so when we were originally celebrating, I, I don't even remember when that was, but we had made those coloring sheets. It was like, it would be fun to have activity sheets yeah. as something for the fans to be able to I think that color. was also at the time when adult coloring books were like huge. Oh, yeah, when they got yeah. really popular. Yeah. So, I mean, I love the idea of coloring. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, maybe yeah. if you guys are interested in having those, maybe let us know. Maybe they're already available. Who knows what'll happen? I think it would be fun to take a, uh, a picture of it even and try my, to practice my digital coloring mm -hmm. on some of the images. Well, the, those images are available. Yes, so you can so. download those from the website. They're under the merchandise, the mm -hmm. memorabilia section. Yeah. That's where they are. So, awesome. Well, I'm so super glad that you were able to do yeah. a reaction video I know. and to see it for it's, the first time. It was super fun. Like, I love that thing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we have it. Yes. Um, anytime we see something new for Jewel Riders, which is a pretty rare thing for us these days, I feel like 
we've almost exhaustively cataloged everything that was made. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, I mean, it's been so long, like, working on the website that, you know, it's like all these years we've been archiving and we've been sharing yeah. everything with you guys. Yeah. So, especially if you guys do ever happen upon something in the wild, something that maybe we don't already know about or something that we've said before, yeah. like, oh, we know of this, but we just don't have yeah. it in our collection. If you have that stuff, be sure to email us. I mean, send us images so we can include it on the website, yeah. because after all, we are an archive source, so we yeah. want to make sure to present everything right. that, that we know we of. We want to know about everything that was made. Exactly. You know, I think the last thing we ever found that was new was that ad sheet that talked about the musical oh, yeah. vanities. Yeah. So. Well, and, but again, I mean, that's, there could be a lot of stuff. I mean, we have pictures of prototypes and mm -hmm. things like that. I think it's very different to actually find something that was like a, produced right. and to actually have the final product versus this is the prototype, this is, which is right. really cool as well. Which is like, I wonder that, I don't think those musical vanities were actually no, ever produced. But. but then again, I mean, we, we, we've we never seen some of the other stuff. Like there's also the makeup sets that I do remember seeing, mm -hmm. you know, and we've never seen those, but it could just be the fact that no one decided to keep those. Right. So. The makeup probably dried up one probably. year in. Probably. But anyway, so it's still fun to see the art. I mean, I really love the art. And like I said, I'm so excited that everything is on the mm -hmm. model. Yeah. That, you know, it, it's really like someone actually took the time yeah. to watch the show to look at the style guide and yeah. to actually know. Hilariously, I think it's more on model than the play a sound book. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. But after we did the after we did the archive showcase episode for that, mm -hmm. um, we did talk a little bit about how initially that artwork was kind of like, Ugh, but I think I warmed up to of it. Course, so yeah, of course, So you're kind of just happy with what you have. I think it's hilarious also that we, like not long ago, recorded a podcast about mm -hmm. all the paper products mm -hmm. made for jewelry. Writers. So books, uh, panini sticker books, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's like, and here is another a product. New paper. That's the thing is that the archive is just, it's a living document. Like yeah. the archive site is always living. And whenever you happen upon something, if you yourself have something in your collection that we don't have, again, share those things. And yeah. be sure to follow us on social media as well. Um, and of course, stay tuned here on YouTube as well because we debut new videos too. So you want to make sure to stay up to date on all things. So make sure to like, subscribe, comment of course of course yes I think that this is I don't know we'll see it might be one of the last episodes of the archive show yeah case, unless we find something Gosh, else it all, that's so dependent right like maybe someday we'll find something new but until then I uh, guess this this almost ends the archive show I know it's been so much fun yeah. reviewing everything we've we've reviewed so much stuff through through the years. Yeah. I mean, we've had so many different videos of all our entire mm -hmm. collection. So yeah. it's fun. Yeah. I it's, mean, I've enjoyed talking about everything. Yeah, it's been nice to be able to just kind of share that love for these items with everyone. With you. Yeah. You know? So thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed the archive yeah. showcase. And you know, if you, if this is your first archive showcase, go back. Mm -hmm. This is part of a playlist where you can watch all of them uh, if you want to see all of our reviews of all the merchandise of Jewel Riders. So um, until next time, friends together. Friends forever. All right. Bye. Bye. By the magic of the sunstone, you're tuned into the Jewel Riders archive.